I guess, that there's a point in time where you're the only person on earth that knows something. But the thing that you've just discovered, no one else on earth may know that at a given point in time. I mean, just kind of thinking about it is kind of a cool, uh, kind of a cool perspective on it, I think. Biology is so complex. We're at a stage where we cannot understand biology with our human intuition. Therefore, we have to rely on quantitative tools, such as mathematics and computer science and physics, to really grasp the complex nature of the biology. It's a network of so many different components in the system. Therefore, without these tools, we're basically lost. It's becoming more important to look at everything at the same time. So a systems approach is definitely the way to go. Oh yeah, I actually started medical school here. Seeing the applied medicine was important to me, but figuring out how to structure the theory, how it work, um, I guess my curiosity took over. Having a background in computers, I saw that as a way of potentially lead to new cures and our understanding of disease. It's nice being here, and that's the main reason is just being able to interact the biology side straight to physiology and be able to develop new techniques to understand the body and where we can go with it. I just love solving problems and solving really complex problems like we solve in systems biology is really, really cool. For every student in our program, there are about four faculty members, so that gives each student a lot of options for a research project. The imaging end, we you know try to teach them the fundamentals, the theory behind everything, not just how to use the instrument, but how to how it all works, how it all makes sense, so they can use that further. There is a strength in computational people here. You need computers to study these giant data sets being generated. And we have access directly to patients, so you need data to do this kind of experimentation, so it's a very collaborative atmosphere here. I've been able to present my work to computational biologists who can look at it from that big data perspective and really help me look at my work in a new way. And I'm also able to see their work and get ideas about what I can do. We can solve problems that work, you know, at an integrated level that we couldn't do with a simple reductionist approach. So for me, it was important to be in this program. The fact that I already liked the institution, the area, was just an added bonus. On a graduate student stipend, there is a lot to do, and the city of Cincinnati actually has a lot to offer. Great foods, music, and architecture. Arts, you have sports, you have culture, you have all the big city amenities. I think it's a hidden gem. So building better systems biology, or bridging the right quantitative skills to solve biological problems will spearhead the next boundary of biology. It's truly a process of innovation and discovery. So instead of being a physician and being really limited in what you can do for people, when you're a researcher, you can say, I'm going to create this. I'm going to make this happen for people because I have this vision. I have this ability to innovate. I'm involved with a lot of really interesting research, and I also get to interact daily with a lot of brilliant scientists and researchers who are just working on a really wide range of uh, interesting projects and interesting topics. It's an absolutely wonderful program.